Hi, this is Sean Chua from SimpleChemConcepts.com. Today I'm going to discuss with you a very important concept in atomic structure and ions. Now, in the exam, you usually be given a symbol like this. Say 23, 11, and A. Now, it's important that you understand what each and every part of the symbol over here and what it really represents. First, let's take a look what it really means. And it refers to the element itself. So in this case, the element will be sodium. All right? And the 23 refers to the relative atomic mass. Sometimes we also like to call it the mass number or the nucleon number. What about the number below, number 11? Right, it's important that you know what it means also. 11 refers to the atomic number. We would like to call it the proton number also. Next, we would like to know what is the significance of each and every of the numbers that you see here. Now, the one on top, 23, the relative atomic mass, it shows you a few information. All right? As you can see, relative atomic mass or mass number, first information it will tell you is what is the mass of the atom. All right? And second, it tells you what is the number of protons plus neutrons inside the nucleus of the atom. That's why it's also known as nucleon number. What about atomic number? What does it tell you? Atomic number or proton number tells you one, the number of protons in the atom and indirectly it also shows you the number of electrons inside an atom. Because in an atom is electrically neutral, the number of protons and the number of electrons is the same. Right? Now I hope you find the discussion um, over here useful. Uh, if you'd like to find out more chemistry tips and perhaps receive updates from us, uh, please subscribe to my blog or to my channel. Uh, I also welcome you to send this video to your friends if they need help uh, in the topic of atomic structure and ions. Thank you.